Welcome to Florence. Today we are so excited. We are going on a day trip from Florence into the beautiful Tuscan countryside and we're doing wine tasting. It's a seven hour wine tour so we apologise now if the camera work is a bit shaky and our speech is a bit slurry. So today we are running off fumes because I think we've got about two hours sleep last night. We both agreed that our hotel is literally the worst place we've ever stayed in. There were hundreds and hundreds of mozzie splatters all over the bedroom wall. We've added about 15 to that last night before we went to bed and I've still ended up with three polka dots on my head. To make it worse, we were woken up at two o'clock in the morning by some people playing music next door. And then an hour later, there was a toddler having a huge tantrum down the hall. So we've had about two hours sleep between us. Yeah, not good. So I don't think the wine could come quick enough. I love cheese either way, so. Mm. It's really sweet. Could you eat a block of that? Yeah, okay. Grazie. So this is olive oil also produced at this site. It has an interesting taste, I can't put my finger on it. It's meant to be a bit spicy. It's not spicy at all. Okay. It's weird. So the things that we've learned so far is that we're in the region of Chianti and that's why the wine's called Chianti, nothing to do with the grape. Chianti. Chianti. You sound American. Chianti. Well, the only way I remember it is from Hannibal Lecter. So we tried four different wines and to be completely honest, we don't remember anything about any of them. So the next place that we go to, we're going to try and listen harder. But it's really nice and we also tried some bread with some olive oil on, which was produced here. And also Bit, bits of cheese with balsamic oil on them, which is again created here. Yeah, it was really nice that balsamic oil. It was like really, it's more really like sweet. A sweet than savory. Yeah, really. It's nice. made from the skin of the grapes. Ah, didn't know that. There you go. That's one thing we've learned. Yeah, so it's really nice so far. Gorgeous and sunny. And um, we don't have too long here. We're heading off to a little village next to explore. Um, and then we have one more winery and one more village. So we're now in the town of Greve and Canty, completely sober. <laughs> and we're just being led to the main square where we'll have 40 minutes to do what we want so i think we'll have a nice little mooch around the town maybe grab something to eat some starving and some more wine yeah because we definitely need more wine so we've been given 40 minutes to explore this little town but the problem is we have no idea where to go where to start and we don't want to get lost and 40 minutes isn't a very long time but we've just stumbled across this place that does its own like mini wine tasting so basically you get a card load it with some money you get your own glass and you go up to these machines and just pour away. Well, we wouldn't want to get lost, so this seems like the intelligent solution. It's the cow's wine, you can have to glass it. Okay. Otherwise, you will charge with card. Okay. I guess 10 euros would we'll do a trick. Oh, yeah. I see. Uh, and you get the jerky. What? That's what? how much I got. The bottle ran out. Really? Still got charged. Well, mine's, no, mine's as small as that, I'd say. Yeah. Yeah. Which one did you go for? Is it the same as me? Uh, yeah. I think we quickly drink these before they evaporate. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go and get another one. Cheers. Got the last drink? Yeah, slightly limited in choice. We had £1.17 left on the card. There were two wines, 
which were £1.18 for a small glass, and there was this one for £1.10. We got 7p, 7 cents left on here. Not actually a big fan of that one. Yeah, I know what you mean. It doesn't go down too easy. No. Well, that's good. So we need to neck it because we've got to be back at the bus in like two minutes. Time to go. and already late for the bus. I can see a lot of people sitting on there. We're gonna be those people, I'm afraid. You can really smell truffle on the oil. So apparently you're not meant to cook it. Okay. You don't like it. You do. So so strong. It's so weird because it really smells strongly of truffle, but then when you taste it, it hasn't got that really strong mushroom taste. It's lovely. What? Be nice. Balsamic vinegar, 20 years old. <gasps> that is that what we're trying? Yep. <gasps> right, I was trying to sell it. <laughs> <laughs> so a bottle of this, the balsamic vinegar, is worth 60 euros. This cake tastes like gold dust. <laughs> It is really nice. I wouldn't spend 60 euros on it though. Okay, so this is. Oh, have you seen the size of that lump on my forehead? Oh my word. This is what we've got to contend with tonight. It's like a second brain. Anyway, this That's is bigger than <laughs> This is Grubel? Grappa. Grappa. What is it? It's it's like moonshine apparently. Really Just what strong. we need. In fact the, the guy that was telling us about all the wines today, he actually pointed out the toilets <laughs> when he said <laughs> about this. Um, so I think yeah, we've got certain smells from it. Cheers. Cheers. Ah. <coughs> uh. Crapper. It's more like crapper. <laughs> Look around though, seriously. I mean, this is stunning. Yeah. It's. Yeah. <laughs> it's such a shame. We can't spend all afternoon here. That's the one thing I'd say because we're going onto a village next. But I mean, it's so stunning. Yeah. I'd rather just stay here and enjoy the view. Um, we learned so much in there, and the guy was absolutely hilarious. He really made this tour like so worth it. But. We're, all, we're sat around a load of people and we didn't want to really record in their faces, so 
the footage probably isn't brilliant. We did as best as we could, but oh, it's just been such a good day. It's been brilliant, yeah. to explore. <laughs> okay, my group, so now, last stop. Last stop, five minutes will be in the bus parking of uh, uh, this small town called Castellina in Chianti. We will... So we're in our last place, I don't know where we are. We're heading to a very tiny little village for about half an hour. Did she say when we're meant to be back? had such a good day in Tuscany trying out all the delicious Italian wines and now we're heading home. Watch the bus. We're a little bit squiffy, um, but we've had a really good time and I'm really not looking forward to going back and getting a second horn on this side to match this one. But I hope you enjoyed the vlog. <laughs> 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 Absolutely stunning, all these these hills. I'm not sure if they're mountains, but they're certainly huge hills. Um, and here's another one. <laughs> My word. Look at the size of that. <laughs> 